Good morning, world. Does anyone else get a headache when, like, they oversleep? I don't oversleep anymore. Like, my baseline has now been no sleep, and so now when I get a decent amount of sleep, I've got this headache. Anyway, um, today is a Friday, and normally I work, but it conspired that I had to be at home with the baby today. Um, so I've put a whole bunch of stuff in my planner that I want to get done. I'm going to try to do, like, an experiment. Um, today, Friday... I have everything planned out in pretty good minute detail. Uh, there we go. Um, I've got, oh, my hand's big. I've got um, plans for what to do during each of the baby's naps. Um, I've got things marked with little, you know, locations, and I have a couple errands I want to go do, things I want to film and stuff. Um, so Friday, I've got everything planned. I'm using it all in here and going to check off stuff on my to-do list. Saturday, I'm going to let things be a little bit more loosey-goosey. I'm not, I'm going to try to, I think, not even use my planner at all. I might flip to my running task list in the front. Um, and just sort of see, compare at the end of those two days how I feel about what I got done and how my day went. Um, since I have two days in a row where I'm going to be at home, I figured I would try that. And you get to kind of follow along and see how it went. My predictions are, um, like, I feel really, I feel good about my day when I can check things off the list. Um, so I think I'm going to feel really productive at the end of today, but also then I probably will give myself permission to not get as much done on Saturday, and so it'll be okay to just sort of relax. So I guess we'll, we'll see, and we'll come to conclusions at the end of it. This morning, um, I've got some peanut butter toast here for the baby. She's almost ready for her second slice. Do you like it? Yeah? And the water is on the boil for my oatmeal. Um, in the meantime, I just have coffee because I need it still. Motherhood has made me a two cups of coffee per day person. So we'll uh, have to scrunch some up this afternoon too. <laughs> All right, uh, I'll check in later. Things have been going well. The baby has been asleep for nearly two hours, so she should probably be waking up very soon. But I've gotten everything on, um, everything starred done, so I'm on schedule. Um, I'm going to go now and do a couple dishes and things, uh, tidy up a little bit. That's basically, basically what I'm going to be doing with whatever other free time I have. I still have a couple of things on my weekly schedule, or my weekly... Alistair task list here that I can work on, some projects on this side, and then some things on my context list that I can always pick away at when I find I have a little extra time. Really, um, when she takes a longer nap, that's just an opportunity to get some stuff done or to, you know, spend a little time on myself. We'll see. Maybe I'll, I'll have some downtime later, but she's basically been only taking two naps lately because they're getting longer. Um, for a while, she was napping for like 45 minutes, um, and then she would get like three naps a day. Um, she basically is awake for two hours between each nap. But now her naps are getting to be like two hours long, and so between the two hour naps and the two hours between, she really only has time for two naps. Um, I thought that nap transitions were going to be really difficult, but apparently she just starts napping longer, and that's fine by me. I don't know what it's going to be like when she eventually transitions to one nap, but for now, um, it's, it's nice to be able to count on two naps, um, and to be able to count on them being at least an hour, usually an hour and a half to two and a half hours. Um, yeah. So when she wakes up, I'm going to feed her, I think I'm going to pump on one side and feed her on the other, because I'll probably, maybe I'll do a video about my milky woos um and then we're gonna pack up and head to the store so um yeah updates later <sighs> the errands happened uh we went to joanne and agnes was adorable and perfect those carts are so tiny she was like way down low um like versus my height which is funny, but she did great, and everybody was commenting on what a adorable little baby she is and all of that. She gets catcalled a lot, because she's so cute, and there's nothing I can do about it. Um, 
she was great and then we went to the grocery store and she was great and then she wasn't um she was fine I think until she got a mouthful of my shopping list and I had to take it away from her and then she kind of lost it um she was starting to get hungry she was starting to get cranky and tired and so I had to carry her through the store for part of the way um and then uh yeah, we made it home, she cried in the car, and then she calmed down and kind of drifted off, so I thought, great, she's already falling asleep, let's put her just straight in the crib. She cried for ten minutes, I fed her for ten minutes, she cried for another ten minutes, it's now three o'clock, and half an hour later, she's asleep. So it is time for me to progress in my day and down my to-do list. Everything is checked off except the stuff I need to film. Huh. That's what I'm doing right now. Hi! Um, nap number two, I'm filming in Isby. And then I will do some more tidying up around the house. I still have to finish the dishes um, that I mentioned previously. Um, she woke up in the middle of that. so There's always things to do, but I am making really good progress on this list. I might, uh, if I have time, do some of the other things I mentioned from other other lists. Uh, as you do. Anyway, it's going well. It's going well. <laughs> yes, it is evening time. As Agnes was saying, it's after five. She's woken up from her second nap. And everything on my to-do list is checked off except film vlog, which obviously I'm still doing and will be doing tomorrow. And um, clean which is sort of a nebulous thing that I did some of, but, you know, I didn't want to check it off because there's still mess in the Maybe that just speaks to my need to uh, write more concrete goals as tasks. But I was running on limited space. I only had half of the page, and I didn't really want to turn it in front of the next page. So, this is the evening, and we're pretty much calling it a day as far as productivity goes because this little monkey wants to play, and my goodness... She thinks she can crawl, the way she's like throwing her weight around and moving like she wants to go somewhere, but she doesn't know how. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's trying to roll off the couch and stuff. Give a mommy a scare. Yes. So we're going to see how tomorrow goes. Today felt productive, also short. Um, it always does with the baby because the day sort of fragmented and we went out and we ran our errands so that was good but that does take up a chunk of your day that was pretty much between two naps this whole two hours we spent out of the house uh but yeah i mean i always i knew i would feel pretty productive if i managed to get everything checked off my list i don't know why the dog is complaining i already fed you oh yeah i know i know baby love. <laughs> see you tomorrow Happy Saturday, or no, Saturday. Happy Saturday. So, as stated, this is the day I'm not doing anything in my planner and to see what happens. So, I feel a little bit scattered because I know there's some stuff that's in there and I kind of want to avoid looking at it to see if I can remember to do it. I know I have to film, no, edit tomorrow's video because that has to go out. Other than that, though, we're sort of focusing on family stuff, which is good. You hear the baby on the monitor trying to take a nap. It's kind of funny. Anyway, uh, I'm having my breakfast here of oatmeal with peanut butter and chocolate syrup. Mm. Which, apart from the chocolate syrup, is not unhealthy. And you know what? I can stand to eat chocolate syrup for breakfast. It's the weekend. Mm. Okay, real quick. We're in that period of time between when the baby wakes up and when she needs to be picked up. She's happily cooing in her crib. Um, I took a shower. It's been so far so good today. Um, we've gotten a little bit of tidying up today. Um, mostly thanks to my husband who took it upon himself to clean the bathrooms and vacuum, which I wasn't feeling motivated to do, so that's good. Um, and we're going uh, to church tonight and then to dinner with his parents, and so I am dressed so that I don't have to do that later. And uh, pretty much, I think we're going to be leaving in about an hour. So uh, I haven't gotten like tons done. I did edit the video I needed to. Um, and mostly have just been focusing on spending time with my husband and daughter. So I guess that is a good thing. 
I kind of feel a little bit naked without my planner. I did open it up to kind of look at things and um, like what I had written is my weekly tasks to kind of get it into my head of some ideas. Um, and one of the things on there is to um, clean out my computer, like dust it, um, which I have to like bring it out into the backyard to do. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to get that done today, but it's in my brain now as like something to try to get done tomorrow. So that's, I don't know. I still feel like there's so much, there's, cleaning up is never done, you know, especially when you have a baby and limited time to actually get stuff done. She's at this age where like, she's happy to play by herself, but only if I'm in eyesight. And if I walk from the living room to the kitchen so that she can't see me, she can hear me, but she can't see me, she'll start to cry until I come back and go, look, I'm still here. <laughs> she's fine. Anyway, so that uh, kind of get tethered down when she's awake. Um, yeah, that's... That's all. <laughs> it's like nine nine forty five. Uh, the baby is down. She went to bed kind of late tonight because um, went out to uh, dinner after mass with the family, um, which was fun. Then came back home and played Carcassonne with their, uh, my husband's uncle while um, his parents played with the baby. And it was just a nice evening. So yeah, I didn't, I don't think I really missed my planner too much. Um, I said earlier I was kind of feeling lost without it, but once I kind of decided to not worry about it too much. Um, I basically just let go and enjoyed my day. Um, I feel like if I had made a daily for today with like a to-do list on it, either I would have gotten a whole bunch more stuff done, but maybe, you know, not felt as free, um, and unburdened to just play with the baby when I had time to. Um, or I would have written out this whole, you know, aspirational list of things I'd like to get done um, and gotten very few of them done and then felt terrible about it. Um, as it was, I edited tomorrow's video and I edited um, a double feature for Tuesday's Sims videos. Um, those, what's the date that went out or that will have gone out? Um, February, no, January. 29th, I think. Um, so if you're subscribed to Gunchy Games, you'll have seen there was an extra video that day. Um, so that was good. I still, well, I was going to say I still have one more video to edit, but that's the one I'm filming right now. Um, and then I'll be like done for the week, which is nice for a change because I've uh, been kind of not getting behind, but uh, the last couple weeks I've filmed my Thursday video on Wednesday. Um, I still actually I still have to do Thursday's video um, but yeah I think uh, it's it was kind of nice to do this for one thing I still have all of Sunday because this was a three-day weekend for me which I wasn't expecting so it was kind of nice that I got a lot of stuff done on Friday um, some stuff done on Saturday but like Sunday I can actually get a couple you know big things out of the way I like I mentioned I need to dust my computer, um, some other stuff probably. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the experiment, I guess, um, as to what it's like to not use my planner for a day. Um, I did pull it out a couple times. Like I said, I checked my weekly to-do list to see if there was anything I needed to focus on. And the only thing I saw on there um, was something that I decided to put off until tomorrow anyway. But it was kind of reassuring to kind of look at the list and know that there wasn't too much that I needed to worry about. So maybe it was a non-representative day to do this experiment, but I'd rather not have something big actually fall through the cracks while I'm, you know, just in this, the name of science. Um, I also pulled it out to um, scribble down a couple of plans in my future log, because both of my parents' birthdays are coming up, and we're going to be visiting them for that, so... Uh, yeah, that, I think, is it for this one. 
I don't know if that was instructive or interesting at all, but um, if you're a fan of my voice, then weird, okay, but like, enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one, alright? Bye.